PC and the world was getting crazy. Ever since Adam and Eve, there had been so much sin in the world. God had to find something to do to save his people. They needed some type of sacrifice to redeem their sins. So God decided to send his son to forgive their sins and their sacrificial redeemer. He had just the person to birth his son to. His faithful servant Mary, the peasant Mary, is at home when she is suddenly approached by an angel named Gabriel. You are favored by the Lord. The Lord is with you. Mary was shook and had no idea what this meant. Um, what? How did you get into my house? Stop. Stop being afraid, Mary, because you have found favor with God. Listen. You will become pregnant and give birth to your son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will never end. Literally, I'm a virgin. The Holy Spirit <laughs> will come over you, and the power of the Most High will surround you. Therefore, the child will be holy, and will be called the Son of God. And Elizabeth, your relative, has herself conceived a son in her old age. And this woman, who was rumored to be barren in her sixth month, nothing is impossible with respect to any of God's promises. If you say so. She did, in fact, become pregnant. Mary was still a virgin, and that was okay with her husband Joseph, because God told him in a dream everything that would happen. When Mary was close to giving birth, her and Joseph traveled from Nazareth to Bethlehem, so he could register in the census there since that's where his family was from. Since Mary was so close in her pregnancy, that's where she ended up having baby Jesus. Jews, King Herod's astrologers and wise men got word that Messiah was born and rushed to tell them. King Herod, we saw a star that shows where the Messiah is born. Wow, you really need to go find this new king and tell me where he is so I can worship him. Okay, let's follow that star and bring him some gifts. I'll bring you some myrrh. I'll bring you some gold. And I'll bring some incense. Run along and don't forget to report back. King Herod didn't want to worship Jesus. He wanted to get rid of him. Herod wanted to be the king of the Jews and didn't want anyone to take his place. He had to end Jesus before his takeover could begin. It is sometime around 17 BC and Mary is very close to having her son. Suddenly her water breaks and the closest place for her to go was a barn. They didn't have a crib, so she had to put the baby in a manger, which is what pigs eat out of. While they were there, many shepherds came to worship their new savior, and they also got a visit from Magi, who brought gold, mirror, and incense. On their way back to King Herod, the Magi have a dream that they discuss on their journey. I had a weird dream last night. Me too. I don't think we should go back. I don't think Herod's intentions are pure. Hello. Me neither. Let's go someplace else. The Magi never returned to report back to Herod about Jesus. Herod decided to take matters into his own hands. When he realized that Magi would not return, Herod had every baby under the age of two killed in Bethlehem to ensure Jesus would not take his throne. Overall, it's said that about seven to twenty babies were killed. No, that was it. In the night, an angel appeared to Joseph and told him to bring his wife and baby to Egypt because the king was going to try to kill his son. After Herod had passed, then the angel approached him again and told him it was safe to go to Bethlehem. Throughout his life, Jesus performed many miracles and forgave a numerous amount of sins. He was also crucified close to the end of his life, but rose again three days later before returning to heaven with his father. The story of Jesus' birth can be found in Luke 2, 120. She did in fact become pregnant. Mary was still a virgin and that was okay with her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she had to put the baby in a manger, which is My what bad. pigs it's eat. It's manger. <laughs> God. <laughs> we'll give him the <laughs>